Hello guys and welcome to a new video posted on my channel. Today I have a brand new ranking video and this is my top 10 favourite songs from Cuphead. So um, I haven't done one of these ranking videos in a while where I actually talk in a ranking video. Um, and I thought, um, I, I've, I've been wanting to do this video for so long. I don't really know why it's taken me so long. Um, but finally we're here. And um, so yeah, we're going to be uh, talking about my favourite uh, song from Cuphead. So Cuphead is one of my favourite games ever. I love Cuphead so much. Everything about it is amazing. The animation, the um, the story, the characters, the 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 um, the lines when you die, they're all great. And one of the one of my favourite things about the game, and one of, one of the things that makes it incredible, is the soundtrack and its songs. Um, so these are not only just boss themes and themes and running guns, but also just just the music in general. Like when you're going around um, the Inquil Isle and stuff, it's all like, the whole the whole soundtrack is amazing. Um, and I thought I'd give you my top ten favorite songs. So um, yeah, uh, I don't really think I have to talk about anything else. So if you guys um, do like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and also hit the bell to get notified when a new video stream is announced. Um, so yeah, let's not waste any more time, and let's see what is my 10th favourite song from Cuphead. Yes, yeah, so my 10th favourite is actually uh, one ahead of a time, so it's the boss theme uh, from the Devil Fight, well one of the two. Because you've got the part at the uh, the start of the fight where you fight Devil as, she, as shown on here. Which is actually a different song that plays. It's actually um, when you fight the devil in his other three phases where this song, but where this music plays. But still, it's I'm only including one hell of a time, not the not the music for the first part of the fight, because I think it's way better. Um, but yeah, this this is an amazing boss theme to end for the final boss of the of, of the uh, original game. I think it's so uh, the music really makes the fight really tense. It really um, it's very like quick with all the um, instruments making it um, sound really epic and stuff. I think it works really well with the fight. Um, I think pro I think out of uh, all the fo all the boss fights in Carpet, this is one of the songs that matches uh, where that matches um, really really well with the uh, the boss. I think I think all all the bosses and the musics match well. I think this is one of the bosses that does it the best. So yeah. Um, yeah, so this is um, my opinion for the 10th best song in Cuphead, so now let's see what is my 9th favourite uh, song from Cuphead. So at number 9 we have Dramatic Fanatic. Now, for the videos that I've seen of other people when they rank Cuphead songs, this song is normally near the bottom, and I, I and they explain why, and I think their reasoning is fair. Like the reasoning is normally it's quite forgettable, or it, it's just uh, like yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's not really memorable, really. But when I actually stop to listen to this song, I actually forget how good it is because there's two songs in Guphead um, before I listened to the soundtrack a lot uh, a couple weeks, a few weeks ago. Um, there was like two songs I'd say which I didn't which I had like pretty much no memory of and one of them was this one and there was a, there is another one which is actually in this list but I'll talk about that later. But yeah, so dramatic fanatic dra dra dramatic fanatic I think is a very good song because um, I love the, all the um, the trumpets. I forget what that part of the band is called. The like trumpets and tubers and whatnot. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm not a musician. But anyway. Um, yeah, I really, I've, I think this song is good, it's like, a good all the way through, it's it's consistent, um, and, and yeah, and you might be surprised on why it's um, so high on my, uh, uh, sorry, on this list, um, when it's normally on lo low on other people's lists, um, but yeah, I, I just think it's really good, um, and there is uh, this part of the song, which I'll show in a minute, uh, uh, which is which nobody talks about which is a whole segment on its own of just a tap dance routine and I think it's great but anyway um, let's stop talking about this for now and let's uh, move on to what is my eighth favorite song in Cuphead
So at number 8 we have Railroad Wrath. So this is one that I see quite high on some people's rankings. And I do, I think I agree because it is a really good song. Um, so I think the first half of the song is really good. Uh, and some of the best music in Cuphead I would say. Um, the instruments really match the train fight. Um, like the noises of a train. Like the... Um, like the horn and stuff. I don't know. But anyway, um, I just think it works really well with the with the boss fight, the song. Um, like the devil, I think it's one of the Cuphead songs that matches the most well with its boss. Um, but yeah, I think a very, very good um, song that matches really well with the, with the boss. However, um, I do have a problem with the song and it is the reason why it's not higher on the list. Because I feel like it could have been higher. But there is a there is one uh, thing that affects uh, its placement on my top ten, and that is the fact of this part of the song. I mean, that's probably one of, if not the worst, part about the entire Cuphead soundtrack is that part of. Railroad Wrath. It just sounds awful. So that is the reason why it's in 8th place and not higher on the list. But anyway, let's see which Cuphead song is in 7th place. In 7th place we have Bootlegger Boogie. So this is the first song on this list that is from the DLC. And yeah, this is a, what an amazing song. So this was from one of the ranking videos I saw of Cuphead songs from from another YouTuber. This was actually someone's favourite song, and I can see why because it's so it's so good, it's so catchy, just such a fun song. And uh, as you can as you can hear right now, it is one of the very very few Cuphead songs which actually has a bit uh, a bit of lyrics, even though those lyrics are completely non-English. I do not know what she's saying at all. And and actually that singer is the same singer who sang um, uh, the King's Dice, the King Dice song for Die House. Um, yeah, very great singer. But anyway, um, yeah, this song is just so fun and so catchy and um, the whole um, big band um, music for the, so for the song is just so good. I really, really love it. And um, it can get, I think it's one of the Cuphead songs that can get a bit annoying when listening to it a lot. Um, but still, it's a very fun song. But anyway, let's now see which song is my sixth favourite. In sixth place is Floral Fury. So this is probably the Cuphead song that is the most loved. Um, yeah, and and, it, and it's very fair that this is the most loved. And it, uh, it, when the Cuphead first came out, um, not only was the song popular, I think this boss was also like uh, very popular. It's probably one of the most well-known boss bosses in Cuphead um, for a, for good reason because um, the boss is kind of cool. You fight a flower, and obviously the boss theme is very good as well. So yeah. Um, so this boss theme, uh, I think it, uh, I think it's very good. I think it's a tiny bit overrated. I don't think it's the best. I mean, it's still in my top ten, so obviously it is good. I just don't think it's like um, the best of the best. But yeah, uh, I think it's, I think it is still pretty good. Um, and what I'm actually going to be doing is, um, uh, I have three songs where I will be um, not showing uh, just a. Uh, me fighting the boss with that song. I'm going to be showing uh, this in it, this as well. That will be shown in a in a second because um, I feel like it'll be good to um, uh, show it whilst talking about uh, the song. So yeah, um, this is the behind the scenes of Flor Floral Fury, um, and there's three video. Well, there's there's a lot. There's more than three, but there's three um, uh, uh, videos that Studio MDHR released for the music of Cuphead uh, and and those and there's three which are in my top 10 so yeah 
this is the first one, so I thought I would show this whilst um, I talk about I talk about the song a bit more because it is uh, very cool to see um, how the song is made with all the instruments and all the incredible people who are able to make it happen. Because um, I love seeing like behind the scenes of stuff. But yeah, anyway, uh, I think that's um, that's enough talk about floral Fu floral fury. But yeah, um, so those are my those are my first five done. So now let's see. Uh, what my next five are, starting with my fifth favourite Cuphead song. In fifth place, I have Carnival Kerfuffle. So, um, this was actually my favourite Cuphead song before the DLC released. And by the way, that's not me saying that the rest of the songs in the list are all from the DLC. Um, I did actually have a change of thought and a change of heart um, more recently about my favourite songs, but I'll get into that later. Anyway, um, yeah, the, I love this song. I think it's an absolute gem. It's kind of like Floral Fru Fury. I think this is another one of the Cuphead songs that is uh, really, really loved by the community. Um, I think the first few seconds of the song that was that you heard earlier I think that is one of the, if not the best opening of any Cuphead song in my opinion. I think it's really, really good. Um, the, I think the song goes well with the um, uh, the boss fight. Not like incredibly well. I just think it matches like kind of like because some songs match, some don't, and then some are like kind of in the middle. And I'd say this is like one of those middle ones. But anyway, um, great song, great boss to go with it as well. I really like Baby the Clown. Uh, I like the boss fight, but yeah, um, I haven't got any behind, behind the scenes footage for this song, nor do I do, nor do I have any for the next song, but um, still, great song, and uh, yeah, so let's see what is my fourth favourite Cuphead song. <laughs> So at number four, we have Baking the Wonder Tar. Now this song is also called uh, Dish to Die For, which is the name of the uh, boss fight uh, when you fight Chef Soul Baker. But in the soundtrack, it is called Baking the Wonder Tar, so I decided to have that as a title, but it doesn't really matter anyway. And I think the reason why they don't have the title is A Dish to Die For is because I, I think they did it so they didn't make people think that if they looked at the soundtrack before they played the game, they wouldn't know that Chef Soul Baker would have been a boss fight. They wouldn't have known that he would have been a bad guy. But anyway, let's talk about the song. So, this song, I don't think any other cop Cuphead song um, is like this song. Because, in my opinion, this song gets better as it goes along always. Like, to so the first part, I think, uh, during phase one, I think it's fine. It's not anything special in my opinion. Second phase is alright, especially that very, very first part, the part you heard. And then it's the, it's the last two phases, that part of the song, which is just absolutely incredible. I mean, we're getting to it now as you can listen. But yeah, um, much I much, much prefer the second half of the song. Very, very good stuff. Um, it's just the music is so intense. And you're literally... you're uh, The music... Again, it's one of those bo it's one of those bosses where it's boss theme. S seriously, it matches the boss fight so incredibly well. Um, so this specific part here, um, this is so good when you're literally fighting his final phase. It, as this shown right here, this is in his final phase. It's the phase after, but still, it's just so um, so exciting and so. Um, can be stressful as well because you're literally in the final phase of the whole game and you're climbing all these you're literally doing parkour and trying to hit his tiny hitbox it's so so good and yeah just the song by itself is amazing but anyway um yeah what an amazing song uh and a, a absolutely incredible way to end the dlc uh at least for the final boss fight but anyway let's now see what is my third favorite song from cuphead
So at number three, we have High Seas High Jinx. Now this is a very interesting one for me. So, um, this is one where I haven't seen people really like or like really dislike. It's been like a very mid one um, or like very forgetful for some people. For me, before like I started listening to the Cuphead songs so much a few weeks ago, like I said earlier on in the video, this was the song which I was most forgetful on. I could not remember what this song was at all. I don't remember any bits in it, um, even though I played lots of Cuphead. And uh, it was it was the it was Dramatic Fanatic, which was the other one which I didn't really have much memory of. But I I, I remember less of this one. However, I I I listened to it um, properly, like when listening to the soundtrack a lot more. And I also uh, watched the behind the scenes video that they did for this song and I fell in love with it. I don't know why I didn't really have any memory of it before. I think it's so good. I think it's consistently good. I think the uh, kind of like the middle part of the song is a bit like it doesn't really um, like isn't as good as the rest but it's still like it's still good and the first part and the especially the last part of the song as well is very very good um and yeah i, I really really like this song it's very good um so yeah i don't think i'm missing anything so yeah anyway um let's just yeah i don't want to make this video too long so yeah let's um just see what is now my second favorite song from cuphead <laughs> In second place is Aviary Action. So this is another interesting one for me actually, um, but for different reasons. So unlike before where it was, I didn't really know about the song and then I actually listened to it and I loved it. I always loved this song. Um, however, my love for it went uh, went up a lot uh, after listening to the Cuphead soundtrack a lot uh, more recently. And uh, main reason why I really liked this song it's because I just think it is so much fun throughout the whole song. The music really is just fun and, it, and that also makes the boss fight fun. Um, although Wally Warbles is a very tough um, boss, especially if you're trying to S rank it in expert mode. It's bullet hell, it's, it's crazy. But anyway, um, some people, uh, if, if there's anyone watching who has made their own Cuphead rankings or are just interested in Cuphead songs, I know there's some people, especially one person, who said that um, this song was actually quite forgettable um, and, and he actually had it as one of his most le least liked Cuphead songs. And I find that really interesting because I think this song is actually, in my opinion, one of the most memorable songs in Cuphead because of how much fun it is and um, just how much of a bop it is. It's so, it, I don't know, I just really, really like this song. Um... So yeah, um, I don't really think there's anything else I need to talk about. So yeah, um, I'm not actually going to be talking about number one yet because I have some honourable mentions that I'm going to talk about. So before, so yeah, before we talk about what my favourite Cuphead song is, let's now see what those honourable mentions are right now. <laughs> So my first honourable mention is actually Marine Corps, which is my 13th favourite Cuphead song. Um, and I know that among the com Cuphead community, I know that lots of people really like this song and it is like high, really high up there for them. And again, I do think it's a really good song. I do think it is overrated though, slightly. Um, and it, like I said, it is still good. I think it gets a bit too repetitive and boring. Um, and, and because of that, it kind of like loses the fun of it. But I think the first half of the song is very good. And um, yeah, I do, yeah. so that's why I didn't come in my top 10. But still, it's, it's pretty good. And then in 12th place uh, is Known Way Out. So another DLC song. And this one is another, another, is another song that I would consider very, very fun and energetic. Um, however, I don't really think it matches the boss fight as well as it could. Although it is very fun still, I think it kind of matches, but not as, like, especially in the very beginning, but other than that, not really. 
I don't know. And then in 11th place is Funfair Fever. So that's actually the only run and gun level. And um, I really like Funfair Fever. It's so much fun. Um, another fun uh, piece of music for Cuphead. Um, and yeah, it's I, I I've seen it used a lot in just any vid just random videos as background music because of it's just really good background music and it's really fun. Um, and then another run and gun I really like is Treetop Trouble, which nobody ever talks about. Um, but I, I'm not that's not um, in in my honourable mentions. I just wanted to quickly mention that. But actually, um, so those are my thirteenth, twelfth, and eleventh favourite Cuphead songs. But I want to talk about something else. So this isn't my fourteenth or like anything like that. But I do want to talk about the credits that for the DLC, for the music that plays during the credits for the DLC. Because nobody ever talks about it, and obviously because like it's just credits music. But if you listen, uh, what I'll do is I'll play a bit of audio um, after I'm done talking to so, so you guys know what I'm talking about. But the but the music is so Im unbelievably beautiful. And unlike anything else that relates to Cuphead, so I find it really weird how they added this beautiful piece of music um, for the credits. I, I mean, I get it, because it's like, I don't think they're going to be making any anything else, any more Cuphead games. I know they're, they're making a new game because they ordered a... So they, they, tr they tried to hire a new art director at the end of last year. But I don't know if that means a new Cuphead game or a new other game, but whatever. But I, maybe the reason why they had that music and then, like, it's so beautiful and stuff is, like, kind of like the very final ending to Cuphead. I mean, it, it definitely suits it. The music is wonderful. But anyway, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Anyway, it's time to see for you what is my favourite song in all of Cuphead. And I... Can't wait to talk about this, and I'm probably going to be talking about this for too long. But whatever, because I absolutely adore this song. So let's see what is my favourite song from Cuphead. So at number one, my favourite Cuphead song by far is High Noon Hoopla. I absolutely adore this song. I listen to it way too much and I think it is amazing. I think everything about the song is amazing. I think the Western theme um, really is uh, fits the boss fight really well. And I think the Western theme uh, goes really well with the instruments they chose. And I think also the instruments were played incredibly well by the musicians. <laughs> I mean, just that violinist alone, the guy playing the violin or the fiddle, whatever. I think he is so. I, I think uh, he's. Um, I think he's a like world-renowned violinist. I don't know. I, I don't know. But anyway, he's so good on that, and I really think he made the song incredible. Seen as the, ho I'd say the main instrument in the song is the violin. But anyway, or the fiddle, whatever. Um, yeah. So I think this song is. In my opinion, the most fun song in Cuphead, and all, and one of the most intense at the same time. But that just makes it like the intenseness and the fun really uh, brings this boss fight to life. And it, I just, yeah, it's so much fun to play and to fight the boss. And I think the song matches the boss fight perfectly. Uh, um, it also matches it well for the fact that it's the only aeroplane fight that doesn't take place in the sky. Uh, as you can see, there's you got the ground right there, so. Um, it's kind of like you're chasing them down, and I think that is another part uh, of the boss fight that makes it really good, and, and that's because of the song. It makes it seem like a high-speed chase. Um, and again, as you can hear right uh, as you can hear right now, it is another part uh, where it's um, uh, a bit of vocal, but a bit of vocals in the song, kind of like bootleg a boogie. And I'll, I think this part of the song is probably the worst part because it's just a bit boring, but but the rest of the song is still amazing. Um, uh, yeah, and I, I, I mean, I don't really know what else to say. Actually, there is something I want to say, and I, I'm quite annoyed at myself because I was meant to download um, the High Noon Hoopla remix by Noteblock, which is their channel name. 
because I think that is also incredible. And if you do like the, if you do like this song, then please check out that remix because it is so good. But anyway, I don't think there's anything else I have to talk about. So um, let me know what your favourite Cuphead song is down in the comments below, and let me know any other ranking videos that uh, I could do. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make, make sure you subscribe to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and also hit the bell to get notified when I videos videos streams announced. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.